Yo, what up, what up? We're going to touch on the Kobe Spotlight Challenge today. We're going to take a look at what is needed for all eight of the challenges. And you want to know what that answer is? It's this, that code. That is all you need. Enter in that code now and get your pink diamond Kobe if you already haven't. I don't care about what people are doing, complaining about how he's not just a godlike card. It's a free card, and it's for a challenge. Relax. I suspect maybe later on there might be a Kobe involved in a new uh, token reward section that could be the Opal. I don't suspect they would put him for a pay card, but you just never know. But, uh, yeah. So let's discuss what else can aid you in the challenge. So first things first. I do have a diamond coach. It does help a little bit for the three-point shot to get it to a plus five. Cosmetic things, I just have the uh, Lakers Staples Center and the Lakers jerseys and the ornament ball. I haven't finished all of my domination yet, so I don't have the team ball. But, I mean, if you're going to do a spotlight challenge, you might as well immerse yourself in the experience. What you probably would also need is the Nets playbook, the current one, like I have right here. I also used the current Bucks playbook right here for all of the non-All-Star challenges, all of the pro challenges. So all you actually need is Kobe, probably the Nets playbook, and maybe the Bucks playbook. However... However, who should you look at as teammates? <clears throat> There's three viable options. You could just use your God Squad and rush through the challenge like all the YouTubers. But why? What do you learn from that? I mean, yes, you get tokens really quick. Yes, you get empty really quick. Boom, challenge done. Wow. You don't even remember what happened. It, it had something to do with Kobe, but you really had no experience from it. So let's let's try to get it a little bit more bodied towards what Kobe, who Kobe was. Let's put together a team that matters. Let's look at this roster. Yeah, I just spent 60 tokens on Gasol and 20,000 MT for Lamar Odom just to show this example. This would be a true spotlight. Spotlight shouldn't be a race. They should be an education. So let's educate. Jerry West here. He was like a father to Kobe. Steve Nash, he joined the Lakers in 2012. And he was essentially part of one of the newer big threes along with Kobe and Dwight Howard. They were supposed to terrorize the league. Ultimately, Nash was injured most of the time and on the downside of his career. And Kobe just did not have chemistry with Dwight Howard, so that failed. We got Kobe himself. I don't need to explain him. We all know who he is. Lamar Odom. So he was actually traded for Shaquille O'Neal. And he was a vital piece in the 2010 and 2011 championship titles. We then have Pau Gasol. There's a challenge later you can read a little bit about him. Bottom row. If I had Shaquille O'Neal in the Lakers jersey, whether it be the Pink Diamond or the Galaxy Opal, I probably would have moved him up to the top row, but I don't, so I don't. Jordan Clarkson. In Kobe's final year, I do believe, he was injured for half the season, and he was like a mentor to uh, Jordan Clarkson for the second half of the season. Luke Walton, Nick Van Axel, Steve Blake, Eddie Jones. You can go on Google, find out what they meant to Kobe yourself. Do you need to run a roster like this? No. But if you want to educate yourself about the man that Kobe truly was, you should maybe try playing with the players that he played with. There's a plenty more, but I just chose the ones that actually have the Lakers insignia on their cards. Third choice. So this is probably the one that most of you should use. Bring in two evolution guard cards that need assists. Well, they can run point guard and shooting guard. And uh, bring in a two maybe power forward centers 
that can be interchangeable that you need to get rebounds on. So for instance, when I went here, um, good options would have been for me. So you could use the Dwight uh, spotlight card. Like I said, he was a part of Kobe's career. But uh, obviously I was finished with him, so it did me no good. So for instance, you could have brought in like a Tom Chambers who needs rebounds or... I have a bunch here who need rebounds. Um, Antonio Davis. So you just want two men up there to just continue to pull down boards. And I'll explain why for each of the challenges. So we're going to take a look at each of the challenges now. So, spotlight challenge number one. Win the game and score 24 with Kobe. It's on pro difficulty. All of the pro difficulties on this challenge feel like they're rookie. So your best bet here, honestly, you don't have to do it, but like I said, if it's domination, if it's weekly challenges, if it's spotlight challenges, I'm bringing in evolution cards. You might as well do them there. So what I did, again, is I had two rebounders. I ran the Milwaukee Bucks playbook. I placed Kobe at either guard or small forward. I don't recall. It doesn't really matter. And uh, I just let him fire threes all day. And everything he missed, it didn't matter how bad it was. Just start chucking them up. You'll get your 24 very easily. Like, if this was a... a evolution card because a lot of the challenges have to do with him getting points it would have been wonderful but it's not so you got to work around that but uh and then have i would say probably run two guards on this challenge run kobe at small forward and then two uh, power forward centers that need rebounds the guards are going to get their assists so literally pass it to kobe he'll fire up a three Rebound, fire it back out to him, up three, rebound, back to him, up three. It's super easy. You should be able to kill this challenge. Diamond consumable, it is, a, I do believe, a contract for everyone. I personally used it on this Kobe card because I made a post on Twitter last month that said if they bring out Kobe, they should also bring out a diamond contract along with him. So he lives in our hearts, minds, and spirits forever. So out of respect for that, I did it. Plus, I have multiple diamond contracts so it wasn't really a big loss to me challenge two again like every other single challenge in here you only need kobe so this was seven assists so i put kobe at uh shooting guard ran quick through sts and to the point guard got a seven assists really quick but you could do the whole the same thing that you did with game one for this except for instead of having kobe shoot all the shots kick it out to kobe get him to pass fire up a sh three pointer or fire up any shot kick it out to kobe fire up a shot repetitively over and over super easy challenge yet again challenge number three make at least 12 three pointers with kobe again pro difficulty it's exactly the same theory as the first two challenges i just chose the milwaukee box playbook like i said because it is five out so everyone stands on the three-point line it makes it super duper easy find kobe chuck it up get that rebound chuck it up spotlight number four it was pro difficulty i, I used also the milwaukee bucks for this and just fired more threes And ironically, in this challenge, too, Kobe in three quarters. Now, here's where it gets difficult. If you have any difficulties in this challenge, this is the one. All-star difficulty, six minutes, so it's plenty of time. 81 points. So this is why I ran that current Nets playbook and quick through STS. Excuse me. And when it comes to challenges like this where you're required to get X amount of points on All-Star, 
your only enemy here is if you're running when you're running quick through STS is going to be the clock, the time. So a super important thing about this challenge is to get the opponent, the ball out of the opponent's hand. The more possessions you have, the more likelihood and the that you're going to score the points. So for defense, I ran zone. And what that did is it allowed their team to not be so closely covered and they could just start pushing in towards the basket or shooting shots and stuff. And then you can pull down rebounds and then go in transition. So that's super important. The less time the ball is in the opponent's hands, the more time it is in yours. And uh, yeah, that one was a really close one for me. I think I ended up with 82 or 83. But again, like I said, I ain't no pro player. I ain't even trying to do that. I barely hit greens, so this is the way I had to do it. But yes, make sure you get the ball in the hands. Even if you run man-to-man, -man, when they have the ball in the perimeter, jump up or whatever so that their guards start pushing the basket towards the hoop or they shoot or whatever. 65. Well, pro. So you know exactly what we're doing here. We're doing the box playbook. We're going to chuck up threes and we're going to get those Evo cards with some stats. Again, not that hard at all. Challenge number seven. 61 points on All-Star. If you made it through the 81, you're going to make it through the 61. It's exactly the same theory. Quick through STS. And I mean it's 20 points less. So it's much easier. And our final challenge here was All-Star 5 minutes. Score 60. Well, I mean, you did 81 and you did 61. So what's 60? And that pretty much wraps up the eight challenges. So like I said, when you're going through these, and I mean, it's you do whatever you want. It's your game. It's your life. You do you. But like I said, run those Evo cards if you, if you want to do something. Because like... The dominations, the spotlight challenges are so damn boring. So, I mean, what keeps me still playing this game is the Evo cards. Because without them, it's just mind-numbing and boring. This game is horribly boring. There's no innovation to it. Once you've done it once, you, you pretty much have done it a million times. Or like I said, pick a team like this. People that meant something in Kobe's career and life. And you know what? Make something of it. Learn a little bit more about who the man really was, or at least who his teammates were and what they meant to him. And I mean, that's that's pretty much it. That does wrap up the challenge. And with all that money at the end of it, even though I just spent twenty grand, 